in this session let us discuss about the law of conservation of mass this law was established by lavoisier this law forms the basis of any chemical reaction it states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction let us see how is that let us take an example of a chemical reaction consider the chemical reaction between carbon oxygen and carbon dioxide in this reaction carbon is combining with oxygen to form carbon dioxide let us apply the law of conservation of mass and see whether it is applicable to this particular equation or not on the left hand side we have carbon and oxygen we know that one mole of carbon is equal to 12 grams and one mole of oxygen is equal to 16 grams but here we have two oxygen atoms hence the molecular mass of oxygen can be given as 16 plus 16 hence the total molecular mass of oxygen is nothing but 32 grams so on the left hand side we have the total mass is given by 12 added with 32 hence the total mass on the left hand side of the reaction is 44 grams now let's move on to the left, right hand side of the reaction on the right hand side we have carbon dioxide the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is the sum of the mass of individual atoms hence the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is given by mass of carbon plus mass of oxygen mass of carbon is nothing but 16 grams and mass of oxygen is nothing but 32 grams hence the total molecular mass of carbon dioxide is nothing but 44 grams hence the mass on left hand side is equivalent to the mass on right hand side so we can say that the law of conservation of mass is applicable 